Hi. Aloha, friends. It's Kai Emrick and Maria Emrick, and we are here to show you how to make flourless red velvet cake. It's probably the most delicious cake yeah. I've had, and I don't even like chocolate. Um, but before we get started, my name is Maria Emrick. Again, this is Kai Emrick, yep. and I am a nutritionist who specializes in the keto and carnivore lifestyle. And I've been helping adults as well as children transform their lives, and I love doing it, especially when I show them how to eat delicious food like uh, red velvet red cake. Red velvet. So come into the kitchen and check this out. <laughs> Mama mia. Hello. Hello. Aloha, friends. Um, Kai, you got a new shirt. Yeah. Nice, naughty, it's complicated. I think that kind of describes you. Mm -hmm. I think everybody agrees. And what were you just doing outside? Uh, we were uh, playing football. And in the water, swimming. Yeah. It's really fun. Um, but you know what? We told you earlier that whose birthday is on Christmas Day? Uh, that would be my dad. Craig's birthday is on Christmas Day. And what do we always love to watch? Uh, Master Chef. We love Master Chef. And Master Chef Junior wants the, both my kids on. And they're like, no, you should do it, Kai. Anyway, yeah. on Master Chef, they were making what kind of cake? Uh, I think red velvet. Red velvet. And I said, hey, we can make red velvet cake. So we are going to have red velvet cake for Dad's birthday. Mm -hmm. And creme brulee, because we have the creme brulee stuff ready. Already set because you know what you need? You need 16 egg whites. So 16. what do you do with the yolks? You make creme brulee with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know what would be a good idea? Oh, I'm going to need your help. We're going to set these over here because I do not want to, I want to make sure I don't have any yolks in the whites because then they won't whip. So I'm going to put them into a bowl before I put it into here. Um, it is best to have, can you hold that one for me? Thank you. Um, it is best to have a stand mixer. It was probably my favorite food gift. I'd love to know what your favorite like foodie gifts have been over the holidays. Um, mine was a stand mixer from my mother-in-law. Thank you, Grandma Susie, right? Yeah. I love it. So now I have an eight quart one, which is great because I can make two, pan two loaves of my protein sparing bread in one time. So I'm gonna get all of the egg whites out. Now, can you use the just whites? Probably it's not going to whip as well. Um, I can make my protein bread with the, you know, carton of just whites, but it gets a little tricky. If it's humid by you, you know, egg whites don't like to whip very well. Ooh, I almost got a yolk in there. There you go, my friend. So 16 eggs, it takes a while, but thank goodness the price of eggs have gone down, right, Kai? Yeah. yeah. Earlier today, we watched The Grinch. The Grinch, yeah. Yeah, the new one, not the, you know. What did you see yesterday? Uh, please. What did I see yesterday? You went to the movie theater. Oh, yeah. We saw Willy Wonka. We, uh, it's just Wonka. Wonka, the new yeah. Wonka. Did you yeah. like it? Yeah, it was good. It's good. So, do you like watching movies? Uh, yeah. What's your favorite holiday movie? Mm. It's either up to Elf or just like oh, uh, Home Alone one. Yeah. Maybe we should get. Maybe people can give us suggestions on what holiday movie to watch. Yeah. I think mine is Christmas Vacation, but it's because there's a story behind it. So when I was first dating your dad, well, not first, we were dating for a long time, and he had to go to Germany to Munich. Was it Munich? Yeah, it was Munich over Thanksgiving. And I was still in college, but it was the first time away from family. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll go to Germany with you, right? And I was not the person I am today. I was afraid of my own shadow. I never left the hotel room, and Craig was um, working all the time at this trade show. And so I watched Christmas Vacation about 100 times, and it made me miss my family and miss Thanksgiving. I was like, I'm never going to be gone for the holidays again. So... It just, I don't know. I don't know why it was a good memory, but it was because it kind of reminds me to be the strong, like now I would have left the hotel room and been like, hey, I'm going to go here and not be worried about it. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent, aren't I? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah my favorite uh, probably is uh, Home Alone. Home Alone? Yeah. That's your favorite one? Yeah. I thought, oh, that, that and Elf you're choosing between? Oh, no. These eggs Home are all Alone. different sizes. Yeah. I thought you said Elf was. No, Home Alone. Oh. It's actually, Home Alone's actually, it's one of my favorites. Oh, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. 
Okay, this is the last one. Sorry, everybody, had to make it through that. Now, what we're going to do, there's no yolks in it. These yolks are going to, can you just set that aside over there? We're saving that for the creme brulee. And this is gonna go into the stand mixer. Okay, now we're done with that. You can set it in the sink. What we're going to do is we're gonna add some of our Redmond Real Salt. Ching, 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 ching. More than you think, okay? And we're also gonna add something called cream of tartar. Now, cream of tartar is gonna help stabilize those egg whites. You don't have to use it, but it certainly helps. Now, we're gonna raise this up and we're gonna whip this away for a few minutes. Okay, so what did that take, take like four minutes maybe? I don't yeah. Know. It just depends on Everything. if you use real whites, whatever. I should have done this beforehand. Um, Spray? Well, it's ideal to have eight inch pans. These are not eight inch, they're six, but I like them because I can do a higher stack. So instead of doing two eight inch cakes and slicing those, because remember how they had three layers of frosting uh, inside? Yeah. Um, they sliced each cake in half. We're gonna do uh, three smaller cakes so we're making them taller. This will only affect really the baking time. It'll be a little bit less, but if you want the full directions, they'll be in the link below. And what we're going to do, we have these, um, I don't know what are they called, like parchment, uh, parchment yep. or something? Pa I'm gonna use my avocado oil spray. Oops, that came up. Can you help me out with that? There, hold that up. There we go. And grease three of them, pull that one right back up because we want these to come out pretty easy. Now, these cakes might shrink a little bit, but that is okay. It's still gonna be a delicious cake, and you can hide a lot of cake uh, issues with the frosting. Now, the reason you should do that first is because whites will fall as soon as you stop whipping them. Not really ideal. You wanna make sure no water touches that, so everything's dry. It's okay, bud. We'll worry about that later. Um, into a bowl, we are going to add uh, prime protein powder. Prime protein powder. Now, you could use unsweetened cocoa powder and just add more sweetener. Um, or you could use chocolate yeah. collagen like the recipe calls for, but we want two-thirds cup of that and two-thirds cup of either unsweetened cocoa powder or another scoop of equipped prime. This is going to be a really high protein cake. Egg, isn't it? Egg whites and protein powder. This is pretty awesome. I'm going to add maybe just a little bit more because that wasn't quite two-thirds cup. There we go. And whew, we're gonna add a uh, half a uh, cup of alle powdered allulose. allulose, okay? And we're gonna kind of mix that together. Can you do that? Yeah. You can do this while the whites are whipping, but it's so noisy, we just wanted to turn that off so you could see us making the cake. So squish, squish, squish. Should we talk about Grandma Nancy now that she watches? Uh, do, should we? Should we? I got her some cool presents. You know what oh. she, she really liked? What? The red light mask. We got oh, yeah. it. Remember the red light mask? I, I wear my red light mask every day. And so when we were at uh, Thanksgiving, I was wearing it in the morning. She's like, what is that? And I said, it's really good for your skin. And so I got her one. Or I just gave her mine, and then I got a new one. And she was so happy. I should, probably should give her a present. You probably should, because she took very good care of you. Now, I'm going to take this from you just because the whites are continuing to fall. I and will. I'm going to add that to the whites here. I'm going to just slowly turn it on here. There we go. And you just want to mix it together just so it's well blended. Okay, now at this point you can have you have a choice. Mm -hmm. You can choose whatever flavoring you want. We have five different extracts here. We have mint, we have orange, because chocolate and orange go good together. We have almond, we have cherry and strawberry. And I wanted to kind of know, red velvet cake isn't because of the flavoring, it isn't because of strawberries or raspberries, it's because of food dye. So this is optional, but it's not red velvet if you don't add the natural food dye. So we're gonna add some of that natural food dye into this, and that's what makes the cake red. Kind of boring, huh, Kai? Yeah. I know, you wanted it to be like strawberries or something, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. And then we're gonna add our extract. And I know you wanted like cherry and strawberry. I wanted cherry and strawberry, maybe a little orange to give that eccentric. You, you know? can add vanilla if you want traditional red velvet cake, people. So now I'm just gonna mix this. It's 
not super red, but that's what like natural flavorings do. Can you set that in the sink? There we go. Um, that's okay. It's still gonna taste delicious. Now I'm going to take this out. You can add a little stevia glycerate if you want to, whatever. Here we go. Thank you, Craig. Can you set those? Oh, wash your hands. That looks weird. Yeah, why don't you wash your hands? Let's set this stuff aside. I'm like my mise en place clean, Kai. It's a little bit, you know, because of this. Yeah, it's, can you set that in there for me? It made it a little bit less uh, red. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I don't even, I, it's just, yeah. it's just the idea that it's chocolatey and red pink, I guess. So yeah, I now I'm gonna divide these into the three pans here. It's hard to see everybody. I know I have to move this stuff back. It's hard to get everything in this tiny kitchen. At yeah. that point, you could have just left it, you know. Left it what? Can we see the color there? without it, uh, adding. I know, yeah, and I did say that. Mamma mia. Does anybody have a tiny kitchen like this? It's sometimes frustrating. So now I'm gonna divide this into it, and you're gonna fill them higher than you think because, again, these will shrink a little bit because we're using like an egg white here. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mia. Um, amigo. But it's a really delicious flourless cake, and it's like all protein. And the, the frosting is not protein sparing, but the cake is certainly protein sparing. So I actually have a protein sparing frosting. Ooh, I should show you guys how to make that. It's really good. Um, my recipe tester was working on it this morning. She was, cause I want, I want a lot of feedback. And so mm -hmm. she was telling me that her kids were just eating the pro frosting plain this morning. Yeah, you know, who, who doesn't like frosting? And if you're wondering where that recipe is, I believe it's in the art of fat loss. Is that right, Craig? I don't know. So you want to try this for batter, Kai? Not really. Nah, I think you try it's... everything. You ate like a uh, baking soda yesterday. You don't have to. So this is going to go into the oven. It's a 350 degree oven. Um, if you do the eight inch cakes, it's going to be about 20 minutes. Um, can you just watch them? I'm going to do 15 minutes right now. Craig, can you turn the timer on for 15 minutes? Meanwhile, we are going to make the frosting. So into the frosting we go. Here, Kai, let's wipe this down a little yes. bit. What do you think? It tastes like flavored egg whites. <laughs> Oh, way to sell it, way to sell it. Okay, so yeah, see this is my preparation for the creme brulee, but we won't do that right now. Yeah. Maybe everybody wants to see it, I don't know. Do you guys like creme brulee? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So into a bowl, we have two eight ounce blocks, mm -hmm. blocks of uh, cream cheese yeah. that's softened, and we need the butter over there, Kai. We need the lemon juice. Better with butter. Butter, lemons, everything, everything over there, buddy. Butter. I'm gonna put one cup of butter into the softened cream cheese and make sure both are soft, okay? There we go, plop that in there. And we are going to add our natural sweetener. We have allulose, and that is one and a half cups of allulose. Again, the full recipe is in the link below. Limes are really good. And a little bit of stevia glycerate. Stevia glycerate is a non-bitter stevia, um, and I like to just blend the sweeteners a little bit. Maybe add a little touch more. And I'm going to add some extract. You could use vanilla if you want a traditional red velvet flavor, but we're doing almond, because for some reason, almond flavoring gives me the feel of Christmas. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was the spritz cookies Grandma Nancy always made. I love those spritz cookies. I think cookies. chocolate. It, it, for me, it's chocolate. You can squeeze that lemon right on in here, but you know. use that one that doesn't look like seeds. Make sure no seeds. Oh, yeah, I, I de-seeded it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And adding lemon juice to like a cream cheese frosting really just brings out a lot of um, delicious flavoring in there. And now we're just going to mix this together. Right. <laughs> Show everybody. Oh, <laughs> yikes. So now at this point, and I always try to teach Kai, you can always add more, you can't take away. So like if That's you are adding bite. salt to something, sweetener to something, you could always add more, you can't take away. So Kai, my friend, try this. This will help. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's, that's good. good. Yeah, this is Dad's favorite frosting, right? The cream cheese frosting. So what I love about this cake is that you can freeze, and I am going to freeze the cake before I frost it, just because a very cold frozen cake frosts way better. Oh no, I see the jet skis out there. It's very windy, and you only see the jet skis when they're saving somebody. Oh. Or they're grabbing that floaty. Floaty. Yeah, Micah was so nice. He yeah. ran past me, and I'm like, he went and grabbed the boogie board, and I was like, what is he doing? And he went down to try to save somebody's floaty, but yeah. the wind took it really, really A far. A lifeguard grabbed it. Oh, good. That's nice. With his paddleboard. So anyway, we are going to let the cakes finish baking, and then I'm going to freeze them, and once they're frozen, we're going to frost mm. them and decorate the Ooh. cake. That's butter. <laughs> I thought that was... Some it. people really liked it to eat butter I cream. thought that was whipped cream. Wait, no. I thought that was... The frosting? Frosting, yeah. Well, it was the same color. There's some people that just eat sticks of butter. What do you think? No? It's fine. No, no, no. Yeah. It's not for me either. Um, so anyway, we'll catch you back in a little bit. And um, we're really excited for this cake here. Yeah. Okay, my friends. I want to show you what it looks like. And look at those. They are really puffy and big, but they are going to fall. Don't worry. But that's what it's going to look like when they're coming out of the oven. And we're back, everybody. Today, so it's been like a few days since we made the cake. Yeah. And what I did was when the cakes were done baking, um, I put them into the freezer. This morning, I took them out of the freezer into the fridge so they're cuttable at least. Could you get me a little cutting board, Kai? Thank you. And what you want, I'm not much of an artist, so I'm letting like holiday decorations be my art for the cake. And... We do want to let you know, we do have this, yeah. right? This came yesterday, the ultimate holiday cookbook that Kai helped me create. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, this is an ebook, but you can get it printed at printme1.com. Um, this book I am super proud of. It's our latest book, and it has all of your favorite holiday recipes in here. Everything from Christmas to St. Patrick's Day to Easter, mm -hmm to birthday celebrations, New Year's. Um, most ebooks only have like 40 recipes. This has 168. So oh, wow. mom's a worker bee, aren't I? Yeah. So please check that out. The link is below. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of it. Um, I just love the holidays. Yeah. And some of the pictures are of when you're really little and how we actually, oh, look it. Like this chocolate cake. Look it. It's Mike and Kai when they were really little. Isn't that sweet? Um, and that's the homemade, oh, homemade marshmallows. That's on the other page. This is the chocolate cake with brown butter filling. Oh, delicious, right? So anyway, you want like a little cake stand or something to use. And what we're going to do is take one of the uh, cakes. Yeah. And I'm going to set this over here. And you want a serrated knife. We're going to take that out and see how it comes right out with that. Um, can you set um, that on the sink? Yeah. It comes right out. And I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to cut this down the center. Because we're going to have lots of layers. I'm not super good at this. My sister-in-law makes fancy, fancy wedding cakes and stuff. I'm so impressed with that. And what we've noticed on Master Chef, psh, that's so not even. They'll like just cut away to make it even and beautiful. Um, they just trim the cake. So mm -hmm. if you have like a high part, you can trim that and just like maybe save it for like, or you know what? If your cake totally fell apart, you could make a trifle. So don't be like discouraged if um, things don't work out. What do you think? It's good. It's good. Nice. So we're gonna put one layer on here. That's total uneven. There we go. Okay. Good, I'm glad you like it. And you yeah. don't even like chocolate. Yeah, I know. And we have our frosting that was in the fridge waiting for us. And I'm just going to, this was in the fridge. It should be warmer, shoot. It's not going to spread super great, but we're going to do a layer in here. Yeah, it's kind of ripping the cake. I wonder if I should warm it somehow. Wait, is that the frosting? Yeah, yeah, this is the frosting. I might put this in the oven to warm it up so it frosts better. Yeah. Because really cold, ice cold cake and room temperature frosting is the best way to frost a cake. I don't know. What do you think, Craig? What should I do? Yeah. Okay, we'll catch you back in a little bit. Okay, my friends, it is at a perfect, soft, uh, I don't know, consistency. And what I did was, instead of like turning the camera off, 
I was like, hey, why not show you, learn from my mistakes, right? So what I did was I divided it into uh, three different bowls. I use this bowl, this one, and one that's in the sink. Because if you, if I would just put this in there and turn the oven on high, it's gonna turn into melted butter or melted frosting. And we don't want that. So yeah. I just wanted to gently heat it. Did I turn the oven off, Kai? Uh, did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Okay, so can you grab the cakes from the freezer? Because I also put the cakes back in the freezer because it is best to have a really cold cake and soft frosting. So Kai will get that. Um, let's see, so I'll start spreading this back on. Thank you, sir. There, oh yeah. I like more frosting than cake, so that's what I'm gonna do here. What do you think, Kai? More frosting than cake? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know Dad likes that too. So then, this one looks a little sad, but it's okay. Just put that right on there. You won't see it. The frosting's gonna cover it. Right! That's all about Master Chef too, but they do slice it. Mm -hmm. They'll slice it and they'll see if there's even layers, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And Master Chef is gonna be on again, Kai. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna be on it? Master Chef Junior. Uh, eh, I don't know. Here, can you put that in the sink, my friend? Thank you. And again, we're gonna slice this right down the middle as well as we can. Maybe get a shot of that, Craig. There we go. That looks like a better one, yeah. That will go right on here. Did you get me stacking it too? There. We gonna put some uh, frosting on the sides? I am going to. Do you want to do your magic trick while I finish this up? Sure. Kai's got some magic tricks, my friends. I think I told you about the advent calendar that he got. Ooh, this is going to be a tall cake. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to cut some of that off. I'm going to make it more even. Here we go. Because the middle was bowing. So I'm going to cut these high edges off. And Kai can have that for his snack. It's all protein, so I don't mind. All protein. And, you know, sure, this is a little bit of a pricier cake using the Equip. However, maybe we should treat these like special things and not have cake every day, right? Oh, yeah, that's going to be much better. There. Okay. Now we will frost this part. I might have been a little too ambitious with how high I wanted it. Don't you think? I'll have to get another layer on there. Shoot. All right, maybe I won't. We'll just frost it up there. Okay. Yeah, I'll just frost the sides then. I got this one. Or one more. Yeah. Kai's got a trick. I'm, you see it? Uh, there's no coin here. I'm going to make it magically uh, reappear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, we should eat a buggity too. Ooh. Oh. Magic. You're really into this magic stuff, Kai. You are awesome. Oh, thank you. So you think I should be done? Ah. All right. I want it to be like a beautiful... So now I'm going to just frost the outsides here. And then once I'm done, I'm just going to like top it with some... I was going to try to use the good chocolate... The good chocolate is a sugar-free chocolate that doesn't use inulin fiber. It doesn't use chicory fiber. All of that stuff that's in Chalk Zero, I would highly suggest staying away from because if you compare your blood sugar response from Chalk Zero versus a Snickers bar, guess which one is going to go higher? Snickers. Nope, the Chalk Zero oh. does. So stay away from that. But the good chocolate, however, is um, made with stevia. It's really good, isn't it, Kai? You love it. We can't keep it in stock. That's why we're out of it. And I was going to write keto on the top. Or happy birthday. I could have done that, too, with it. So, just making it pretty. I have another magic trick. Okay, yeah, this is great. Okay. Keep them entertained. Uh, you see this. I'm going to make it magically uh, disappear. Okay. So, I'm just going to... I'm going to curl my hand into a ball like this. And I'm going to put it... Shove it down my... Sure. Uh, oh wait, no. <laughs> okay. Bit. Now that I have it, shove it down. I, it's gone. And now I'm gonna make it reappear. 
Ta da! Which is your favorite magic trick to do, Kai? We got a bunch of them. We paddle. Every day you got a new one. Every, did you open your morning one for today? Today? Yeah. Night? Okay, so here we go. We also have the paddle. This is my favorite one. See, both sides are empty. Okay. Okay, now, let me just... There. It now just reappeared. Reappeared. Yeah. Nice. Good job, Kai. So I'm kind of thinking how to do this. I don't want to cover up too much because, I don't know, I think I just might put like one right here. I think. I don't know. Just to make it pretty like that. There. That looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. Not too bad. Now we can go on the beach and eat it. Wait, yeah? I want to smooth it. No, no, no. It, I like it like rough like that. It looks like snow. You do? Yeah, that's what, like, sometimes Auntie Kim, when she makes cakes, it's like fluffy little, like, things like that. It's harder to make it smooth, Kai, so it's easier to, like, make little things like that. I think so. It kind of just looks unfinished. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, anyway, this is the cake. Mm -hmm. We should have Kai try it, shouldn't we? Even though you did try it with this. Yeah. Um, what do you think of, okay. Everybody, Kai, you did try this part. Yeah. Dip this into the frosting right here and tell everybody what you think. <laughs> That's good. That's good stuff. And you don't, he doesn't like chocolate and he doesn't like cake, right? Um, yeah. So pretty good. And uh -huh. you're going in for another bite. So I think that it's a winner. And we're going to go take some pictures down on the beach um, for some Instagram posts. So. Yes. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching, and share this video with your friends. Share this video with your friends. And don't forget the holiday book. Get yourself a present, because it's a present for you and a present for us. <laughs> Mahalo, everybody. Mahalo. When I was 16 years old, I was diagnosed with PCOS, acid reflux, depression, and IBS. Instead of taking those prescription drugs, I decided to change my life with food. Yes, food healed me and has healed so many of my clients over the past 20 years of working with people. If you are interested in transforming your life, check out ketomaria.com. I'd be honored to help you.